Hello! Welcome to this first video in which we will talk about view control in Blender. So yes, I start with a super basic subject, but for those who are really beginners, I advise you to watch the video because I will still show you two or three cool tips. Let's start with the orientation of the view. But before, I'm going to load a project, any project, just to have something in the view. So orienting the view, it's super simple. Just use the middle mouse button. And as long as you hold the button, you can orient the view by moving the mouse. If we select an object, the center of rotation of the site will be the center of the selected object. For example, there, I turn around the head. There around the base. And here, around the handle of the Gauss flare. Strangely, being able to orient the view around a selected object is an option in Blender. So first advice, go to Edit, Preferences, and in Navigation tab. Be careful that Orbit Around Selection option is checked. Then, let's say we want to work on the warrior's hand. We can turn around it, but it's a little stuck. It would be more comfortable to have it in the center of the view. We will therefore recenter it in the view by panning with the shift key held down and with the middle click of the mouse pressed. This way we can shift the view so that our object is now centered. Last tool is zooming, and you will see it is much more useful than you can imagine. For zooming, nothing simpler. Use the mouse wheel, back and forth, to zoom in or zoom out. So far so good. But before zooming, we can decide what we want to zoom to. For that, first of all, we position our cursor where we want to zoom in. For example, above the head, and when zooming, we get closer to the head. What if we want to zoom and frame an object at the same time? Well, it's not easy to explain, but you'll see it's rather intuitive when we do it ourselves. For example, if I want to zoom on a view where the head will be centered, I'm going to place my cursor to the left of the view on the side of my head. And since we're going to zoom in on the cursor, if I want the head to be in the center, I put the cursor a little more to the left of the head, and that's it. You will see it will come by practicing. And to zoom out it's the same. It's less intuitive, but it also works. If I zoom out from the center of the view, the head which was centered will always stays in the center. But if for example, I zoom out from the right side of the view, I zoom out from the right, and therefore, I shift the center to the left. And vice versa, if I zoom out from the left side, the view will shift to the right. This way, by playing with multiple zoom in and zoom out, you can move very quickly in the scene. For example, from the head to the base. From base to Gauss flare. And from the Gauss flare to the Gauss reaper. And so on. And so, we even forget that we can shift the view with shift key. If I want to frame again the Gauss flare, instead of shifting the view, it's so much easier to zoom out properly. Then zoom into the Gauss flare away, it will be well framed. Then I can select it, take a look, and move again to the head with a well placed zoom out. And with a small, smart zoom in, we are perfectly framed on the head. So if you need to pan, we only need to do it now just to finally adjust the frame. This way of zooming with our cursor is also an option in Blender. So let's go back to the preferences, and this time we pay attention that the box Zoom to Mouse Position is checked. Another thing about zooming. When using the scroll wheel, we have scroll wheel increments. This is due to the wheel itself, 
and that depends on an operating system level setting, so we can't change that in Blender. And sometimes, the increment effect is so unbearable because it makes us jump. Like here, I'm using a single increment and it zooms too much. So in this case, we can zoom in another way by using the control key maintained and the middle mouse button. Then move your mouse and there it zooms very smoothly and with precision. Now a last tip for beginners. We can also zoom and frame the view on an object without the mouse in one action. Let's say we want to focus on the Gauss flare handle. Select it and press the period key or delete key on the numeric keypad. And presto! Blender does all of this for us very quickly. And if we want to go back to a global view with all our objects framed in the view, just press the home key. And that's it for this video. I hope you're starting to feel a little more comfortable in Blender. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.